Hey guys, it's Ina. Welcome back to my channel's for today's video. This new episode of With Love from Ina. Today's episode is being responsible with your choices. So I remember saying this before in my video on responsibility and acceptance that you will always have a choice, and the choice you make will always affect the next few that come after, which is fairly true. Actually, it is. It is true. Sometimes you don't even realize that because we're so caught up in these choices, we're so caught up in these events that we don't tend to acknowledge the little things or acknowledge the things that have been happening or has happened already. So when we're at a certain point where we just kind of pause, we kind of realize, oh, cripes. <laughs> I think I did something wrong there. Oh, I should have done that. I should have done this. And I get it. I understand. Sometimes it's it's just not it's just not how you envisioned it to be. So let's make it a little bit easier. Just a little bit easier. Hang out with your friends. Very simple, I think. <laughs> so let's say you and your friends are really busy and you decide after the longest time to see each other. You guys finally found a day, found a weekend rather that would be beneficial for everybody so let's say you guys picked saturday because everyone will be busy on sunday or they have a light load on sunday or they just want to rest because sunday is preparing yourself for the next week of work and let's say that you decided i am going to hang out with my friends and that's all i want to do then you kind of found out that your favorite band is coming into town I finally have enough money to buy a VIP ticket. Oh my God, guys. Oh man, it's the same day as meeting my friends. Mm. It could be a predicament to some people. It actually could be a really, really big choice to some. Do I go to the concert, ditch my friends and have them be disappointed with me? Ditch the concert and hang out with my friends. So you can go many different ways from here. Let's say you did go to the concert. No, so before that, you had your hangout moved to Sunday so that you could go to the concert without you thinking, oh, maybe they have something going on on Monday. I mean, maybe they have something going on Sunday. It could be family day, it could be a rest day, it could be errand day for them. But then because you wanted to see the concert so bad and because they love you so much, Okay, fine. You know what? I I will I will move my schedule for you. Go ahead, go to the concert, enjoy. But then you ended up not going to the concert, and they find out about that. It's so disrespectful. And there's a fine line between being disrespectful and rude, being insensitive and selfish. There's so many different ways on how to handle the situation. Maybe your one friend is disrespected. Your one friend thinks it's very insensitive of you. Your other friend thinks that it is very rude of you to do something like that because one could be spending time with their family, one could be relaxing, might I add, at a spa, <laughs> and the other one could be doing their errands because they really need to do those errands as soon as possible. And I'm not gonna call you a selfish per person. I'm not gonna call you a selfish, selfish person, but that was really insensitive because you know that your favorite band comes to town every three years. So why did you have to rush to see them when you're finally seeing the people who have always been there for you and has made time for you guys to actually meet up and catch up because you have not seen each other for so long. It sucks when that happens to you because now you're like, oh my gosh, how am I going to make it up to my friends? Oh, I'm such a failure. You know, a lot of these things are going to start coming back to you and you don't want that. Obviously, no one wants that. But of course, on the end of the friends, let's jump over to them real quick they shouldn't be having expectations. Let's say two out of three people do have expectations and the other one's just very neutral about it. Because sometimes when you have expectations and let's say that your friend isn't necessarily the person who is very attentive or doesn't know how to read the room, doesn't know how to read the mood or is just very up in the clouds, sometimes it's really up to you to tell them because someone might not ever tell them and then they have people disappointed in them and it just kind of starts turning into a cycle wherein you're disappointed, the person doesn't know, you're mad, the person thinks you're okay, but really you're not. So you kind of end up like just building up this whole thing 
within you because you've just been expecting things. So really on their end, they shouldn't have expectations, which should they should apologize for. But that's not really the problem right now. The problem is with you going to the concert, basically ditching them for a concert. Not the best plan, not the best look. So now what do you do? Do you try to make up for it? Do you not go to your hangout on Sunday? Do you not talk to them for a very long time? Until it just ends up getting worse and worse and it might even cause a rift. And you don't want that. You don't want to cause a rift because these are the people who have been there for you ever since that you do not want to basically mess with because they will have your back. And I know you're probably gonna say, well, they're probably not the friends for me. But mind you, these are the people who have seen you cry, vomit, I don't know, fall asleep on the floor because you were really drunk one night or you were crying over a guy, you know, things like that. There's just so many things that makes everything imbalanced that you don't know how you would make up for these things. So communication is key. Maybe what you could have done was, oh, by the way, I didn't get to the concert. Do you guys think you could still hang out with me today maybe we could still reschedule today if you guys are free because maybe they are free but you don't know that because you think they're busy because oh i moved everything to sunday they could have done that maybe you don't know that and you didn't even get to go to the concert so you wasted other people's time and then you also wasted your own time that was a very irresponsible thing to do basically i'm not saying that you should be like a smart person when it comes to these decisions or these choices sorry it's really more about putting yourself in someone else's shoes being compassionate meaning how would i feel if my friend ditched me for a concert or how would i feel if my friend asked me to move the concert when i know that this is the only day they can meet me or that they can meet up with me how would they feel if i moved the meet up to sunday do you think maybe they have some important things they have to handle on that day? They probably don't want to go out on that day. Probably want to go to church with their family and spend time with them the whole day. Things like that. I think that's the way you could handle it better for the next time. You know, don't correct the mistake because it's already happened. Just learn from it. That in turn makes you even more of a responsible person that someone else will see that and be like, wow, okay, this person knows what they're doing. This person knows what they want to do, how they handle things and how to settle things, things like that. I could go on and on, but I will just end it right here. I hope you guys were able to get something from that. I will see you in the next video. Remember that you are worthy and loved.